Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my love. Kick your feet up. Get your shit. Get your shit. Get your shit. And get comfortable. Cause we about to make it do what it do, love. Okay. So let's jump into this read. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go turn the music down. I felt like I was yelling over the music. I don't want to yell. Over. So we'll do a couple more shuffles. This is a love channel only. All we talk about is love over here. We pick up on your regular plain old love. We do pick up on divine connections. Family, friends, and karmic energy do pop out sometimes, guys. So take what resonates with what does it. Let's see how they're feeling about you right now at this time. What they want to say that they may not be saying to your face. How is the collective person feeling about them right now when it comes to their love lives? First card. They want you to know they will never let you go. They feel like you guys have come so far together. So maybe you guys been through a lot. And there's still an upward hill to climb. But they, they, they're willing to climb it as long as you're with them here. What else do they want to say? Yeah, they want you to know that this connection really is special. So they do acknowledge the fact that you have, hold a special place in their heart. They do acknowledge the fact that this connection is not like any other connection they've had. Huh. And they want to marry you. If you're already married, then they think about the wedding day often. If you're not, they, they think about marrying you. They want you to know they will love you forever and ever. So this person is seeing the future with you. If you're like I said, if you're already married, they don't want to go nowhere. This person loves you with their heart. They know that the connection is special. And they're not finna do nothing to fuck it up. You guys probably have been through a lot of ups and downs already. And they just want to move forward smoothly here. No matter what it is. The uphill battle, they want to go through it with you. If this is someone that you're not married to, they want to get married. And they want to go through these battles with you. Because they, they realize that the connection with you is special. And they don't want anybody else to have you. They want to love you forever and ever and ever here. Tell me more. Yeah. So this person fell hard for you. And they're, they're still falling hard for you. To, and they can't catch their breath. So this person is head over heels in love with you. They all in their feelings and their emotions when it comes to you. You don't have to second guess this or doubt this. Yeah, this person wants to come. Like I said, if you've been doubting it, they want to come tell you some sweet nothings in your ear. Okay, they remember the first kiss. They say this is true love. They're hoping that you say yes. <laughs> you got puppy love back there. This person sees this for the long haul, the long term here. Tell me more, spirit. Collective energy. Yeah, it says spiritual journey. Our souls are finally together in the flesh. So this could be someone you have a soul connection with. Whether it's a twin, ray, twin flame, a high level soulmate, divine partner, life partner. Okay. This is someone that is part of your journey. And they feel like this they're being divinely guided towards you here. Give me one more. They gave me two. So they said they want to know where you guys spending the holidays at, okay? They house, show house. Uh, you guys going out of town. But they finna be with you. And they said love is calling. Please answer. Okay? So if you have not talked to this person, they're going to reach out. There's some type of communication coming in. Um, if you talk to this person regularly, they're going to call you. And they may just express how they're feeling. Yeah, bottom of the deck says open and present to loving you and only you. So this person only want to be with you. And they, they're they open and present to loving you and only you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, 
Tell me more from my collector when it comes to the love life. How is this person feeling? What do they need to know? What's my being sick? Collective energy when it comes to their love life. What do you need to know? Collective energy. So, I feel like you make this person feel free um, with the freedom. I do feel like um, you guys need to remember, though, even though you're in this loving connection, you still need to give each other a healthy space and room to breathe. Don't come codependent. Okay? Remain independently together in this connection. So, don't give up what you like to do. Allow this person time to, to do what they like to do. You know, and then y'all find things y'all like to do together, but still remain you. So when this person is doing things they like to do, you have something you can go do. You're not stressed about them not spending time or them not with you. Don't become codependent. Keep your freedom still in this connection. Okay, tell me more, spirit. What do they need to know? Yeah, this is part of your spirit soul path. A personal evolution within your... Oh, I cannot talk. Within your relationship. So there's going to be a personal evolution within your relationship. Things are going to evolve to the next level here. And I got holiday again. This person may want to take you somewhere for the holidays. They may want to get married over the holidays. Maybe somewhere, you know, um, a destination wedding. Enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life. Holiday here. So they may want to take you somewhere... And, you know, spice up the love life. A new change of scenery. But there is some type of love call coming in here. Can I find a freedom? Yeah. You guys are a perfect match. You complete each other in the most harmonious way here, guys. They feel like you're the perfect match. They also feel like you allow them the space to be themselves. Yeah, their, their love language is quality time. Okay, they, they want to be the witness to each other's lives. They want to be around. They want to spend time with you, a lot of time with you. They feel like you're their perfect match. Clarify holiday. Yeah, with the Forever Young, a song of youthful playfulness. So they want to get away and have some playful time with you. You know, laugh, enjoy. Turn up. Have a good time. But you both need to let go of your past. Clear energy to allow more love in your life. Whether it's the past with this person, whether it's the past with somebody else, you both need to let go of the past. Yeah, there needs to be forgiveness. Okay? Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. And understand the guided steps to a great love. So this person is being guided towards this great love. I feel like you're being guided towards this great love as well. Follow the path of ascension. This is a lasting love. Okay, this is your true love here. A life partner. Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. This is someone you can have a lifelong connection with. But you have to get past the past. Get over the past. Release the past. Collective energy when it comes to the love lives. What do they need to know for the greatest and highest good when it comes to this particular connection? It's an intense connection. This is a deep connection. Sometimes triggers may arise. What else do they need to know when it comes to this connection? What's this love connection for my collector? What does this person feel? Think what's going on? What they needed to jump. Collective energy. Look, it came in reverse too, y'all. So I do feel like this person was wearing a mask in the past. And I feel like they're releasing this mask because it came out in reverse. 
but it says the false self is being projected to the outside world and I feel like this person was hiding in the past yeah now they want to come in and celebrate maybe they were hiding their feelings and their emotions and they, they want to let them down now they want to let their guard down a joyous occasion or event will take place soon we had a wedding day there so there is a joyous occasion this could be you guys coming together this could be you guys getting married this you know coming into a commitment tell me more collective energy when it comes to their love lives do need it to jump yeah so whatever the vice was they're trying to work through it it says be mindful of negative and toxic behaviors shadow work may be necessary and i feel like that's what this person is doing but this is you as well will let go of the past okay so both of you guys just to be need to be mindful of your negative and toxic behaviors okay continue to do the shadow work both what else here spirit clarify that mask on in reverse when it comes to this collective and their love life yeah so the person that was hiding behind this mask in the in the past they felt like you were too good for them now they feel like you're their perfect match so they raise it says raise your vibration so that you may be in alignment with your desires I feel like this is what this person has been doing. They've been doing the shadow work, and they've been raising their vibrations. Yeah, they could have been controlling as well. Control is stem from fear. Release what you cannot control. And now they are no longer hiding behind this mask. They no longer feel like you're too good for them. They're no longer trying to connect, um, control the connection. They feel like you're the perfect match. Once again, clarify time to celebrate. Collective energy. Well, we celebrate the engagement in our marriage. Next level commitment. This person wants to take you guys' commitment to the next level. Whether it's getting in a commitment, whether it's becoming engaged, or whether it's getting married, okay? Clarify vice. So this person is now making plans. They're getting organized. They have their ducks in a row before they make any moves. So they're healing. They're doing the shadow work. They're releasing this mask. No longer trying to control the situation, raising their vibration because they see marriage, they see commitment, they see something long term with you, and they're making these plans. They're getting their shit together. Yeah, so your person and they're ready to talk. They are ready to talk because they want you, and they praying you still want them. They could have been very insecure in the past. They were struggling with limited thoughts and feelings, and they had to heal this. This is why they they hid behind a mask. Communication will bring more clarity. There is no desire to be with anyone other than you. And they are seeking higher powers for guidance. Anything else for my collective when it comes to this love connection? Anything else? That's it. That's it. You are always on this person's mind. There could have been a third party. They could have loved you both. Could have been a mother, could have been a baby's mother, could have been a father, a baby's father. Doesn't necessarily always have to be a third party, but somebody had to let go of something. Somebody from their past. Let's use. Yeah, they getting single so they can come towards you. Send it independent and wealthy. If there was a third party. They don't necessarily have to have been with the third party either. They could have just been holding on to what a third party did to them in the past. Same as you. You could still been holding on to what somebody else did to you in the past. You can be holding on to what this person did to you in the past. The spirit says let go of the past. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. What do they need to know? For their greatest and highest good. Collective energy. Thank you, spirit. So judgment here. Okay, self-evaluation. And that's what your person is doing. Awakening, renewal, composure, decisiveness. They could be homesick. They could have made some snap decisions in the past. But they want your forgiveness. Okay, they're ready to take the blame for their, their actions. And they want to come in here and present you with this offer. Okay, it does say financial new beginning, new financial opportunities, a new job, a new business, money, investments savings prosperity security stability abundance manifestation they're trying to manifest manifest this connection with you they want stability and security with you 
They see you guys being able to be abundant together. They want to start new businesses and, you know, just have a new beginning with you. Yeah, so this person could have been stuck in the past. Like they could have been stuck holding on to something from their past or stuck with somebody from the past. Feeling trapped, confined, self-limiting, uncertainty, lack of direction, needing release, letting go, sacrifice, waiting, lack of direction, perspective, or contemplation. Like I said, they had to let go of their past. They were strapped and stuck in their head with this past person or something that happened to them in the past. Yeah, so now they have a lot of regret for how they treated you, for trying to control the situation, for thinking that, you know, they weren't no good for you, for pushing you away when the whole time you were their perfect match. It says regret, refusing offers, missed opportunities, stagnation, apathy, disillusion, focusing on the negative, self-absorption, depression, boredom, nostalgia, remorse. They're in remorse for how they treated you. They were stuck and stagnant from things from their past. They were focused on the negative, on self-absorption. They were depressed. And they have a lot of regret for refusing the offer. And they feel like they missed the opportunity with you here. Except for the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're burdened. Okay, they were burdened by these, these thoughts, by... Whatever this past was. They could also be burdened right now about whether or not you're going to accept this engagement, this offer, this next this next level of commitment. It says overburdened, overloaded, responsibility, stress, problems, weight on the shoulders, duty, drudgery, obligation, sorrow, restricted, burned out, uphill struggle, taken for granted. They could feel like they took you for granted here. They could be stressed that you may not say yes but they had a lot to deal with they had to face their, their own issues they were burdened with regret they were stuck they went through some type of karma with this judgment clarify the hangman that's the truth now they want to come in with some type of new idea new plan making plans okay intellectual ability victory success mental clarity Clear thinking, breakthroughs, ability to concentrate, communication, realizing the truth, vision, force, and focus. Now they realize the truth. Okay, they're no longer stuck. They have released these burdens. They released this self-doubt, depression, regret. And now they want to come in and talk. They want to speak their truth. They want victory and success with you. They want to come in and communicate. Anything else for my collective? The world. Okay, they see success, achievement, accomplishments. They want to travel, completion, fulfillment, a sense of belonging, wholeness when they're with you. They're closing out cycles, wanting a brand new beginning. They see you as their world here. Yeah, see, they used to have whatever addictions, depression, mental health issues, um, secrecy, obsessions, cheating, dependency, bondage, materialism, sexuality, powerlessness, hopelessness, Abuse, violence, assault. They had to release this. This is what they've been praying about. To come out of this lower vibrational energy. To raise their vibration. Raise your vibration so that you can be in alignment. And they've been watching you while they've been healing. It says delayed news, patience needed, ideas, inspiration, planning, vigilance, protective, guarded, fairness. Think before you speak. Don't get drawn into arguments. Mental agility. So this person has been sitting back watching. Getting their thoughts and plans together. Making plans on how to come back in here. As they are releasing this toxic energy. Yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It, they they feel like you've been very patient here with them. But they, they've been patient with themselves as well. With this healing. Doing the work. They're practical, they're loyal, they want to come in responsible, persistent, protective, defensive, conservative. They are a little stubborn, ambitious, a hard worker, profit, finishing what they started. And they want to finish what they started here with you. There is some type of quick travel or news communication coming with speed, progress, movement, action, rushing, exciting times, travel, freedom, holidays, 
holiday romances. We already talked about holidays and need some more holiday romances here, okay? Um, taking off, gaining momentum ahead, thinking on your feet, sudden action. So you're coming in with a sudden action after moving slow, after being patient. Communication, quick communication is coming in because they see you as something they want long term. Marathon, marriage, commitment, wish fulfillment. Nine of cups here, babies, okay? Yeah, they do have a little fear and anxiety. They can uh, be a little terror because they were in this negative low vibrational energy in the past. And you may say no. Let's see. But this person is making plans to come in and either ask for a commitment, engagement, or marriage. And even if they're coming in right now just asking for a commitment, they're still seeing marriage as the long end goal. Okay? Collective energy when it comes to their love life. So this could be your zodiac sign or your person's zodiac sign. We have Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. We have Pisces. We have, excuse me, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who else made this read before? Leo. Who is this read for? Air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, one final, who is this read for, Ooh. all of them, okay, I'm going to take them, should take them, so we got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's Aries out here, so Aries pops out, then it's everybody, and there goes everybody, fire, so it's everybody, and then we have Virgo pops out, and Scorpio pops out. Bottom of the deck is Taurus. But everybody is here, okay, babies? Air, fire, earth, and water. So if it resonates, uh huh, let me pull up this deck. Okay. Okay, let's see when this person is coming back towards you guys. When can my collective expect her three pals? So we'll do three. For some of you guys, this is happening right now. This could have already happened. It's going to happen in the future. It's going to be happening in the future for all of you guys, just at different times. Just depends. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Do three cards for when this person is coming in for my collective. When will this person? I believe it's them guys. When will this person be coming towards my collective? Wanting this commitment, this marriage. One more. Okay. Bottom of the deck says in April. For some of you guys, it says a long time. For other you guys, with this up in the air, it could be up to you. And then I have in June. I cut in the middle on in winter. So for some of you guys, it could be in winter. When it's up in the air for you. Others of you guys, it'll be in June of next year. Okay. Or a long time from now. Let's see if we can get some more clarity on what a long time is. And we can get some more clarity on up in the air and this in the winter. Okay, spirit. So when is this person coming towards my collective to offer this commitment, this marriage, this love for her three again? So when is this person coming towards my collective? Person coming and they gave me two. They gave me three. Okay. So let's see here. Bottom of the deck. Okay, my Scorpio energy. Eight weeks, eight months. So let's see if we have anything longer than eight months. Eight months could be the long time. 
yeah so eight months is a long time guys all these are pretty much um right now i'll read them for you um we have eight days eight weeks so eight days eight weeks eight weeks twice eight months eight 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 may be significant for some of you guys you may want to look that up that is the the sign for abundance and then we have um wednesday which is tomorrow we have saturday and then the times of life and the alpha and omega are the same as um up in the air or right now these are right now cards it says you reflect the world the world reflects you and it says you are free in the choices of the moment so once again it's up to you when this comes in for you you can call it in now if you want to for some of you guys okay for others it's going to happen in the winter possibly the winter be the eight weeks okay we don't wait after November, December. Yeah. So eight weeks will be the winter. Between Saturday. Excuse me, no. Between Wednesday and, and eight days. And then eight months for some for the long time. Is June eight months from now? What's this? Let's say November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, June is eight months from now. So the long time could be June, eight months. Okay, babies? So, eight months at the most, eight days, eight weeks, sometime within the next couple days. Okay? So, if it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my titi babies.